welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer. Um, today, as we can see, let's see, help me. Regioning. You already have a pending ticket for you. Please be patient, your staff will help you soon. So, as you can see, I am waiting for a staff member to come and region my, uh, my office space. I'm in the Digit Tower, as a lot of you know. I'm actually going to suicide. Huge fan of death. Um... And we're gonna come back. So let's do a warp VC, and we'll come back. And this is just uh, this episode's gonna be about uh, how to how to have a help me, how to make a help me. So as I've shown you, first thing that you would do when making a help me is uh, to type help me to actually do the command for help me, which I'll show you once I get into the room. That way, if a a mod or admin does have the ability, they can help me region my rooms. So you would do help me followed by the reason that you're needing help so I would say um sub regioning apartments and then I hit enter and then again on here it's telling me I already have a ticket so to just be patient so now I'm being patient I'm waiting here so what I'm gonna do is since I'm sub regioning this room I'm going to get a block that is not found primarily in this area so I wouldn't do glass I wouldn't do any sort of uh, dark wool since that's most of the stuff here wouldn't do quartz um, or, or any of the things that are found near here. So I use dirt. So I got this corner, and I got this corner. Now the reason I picked a top corner here, the bottom corner over there, is because that means I'm going to have the entirety of this room regioned from top to bottom. That means that all three blocks high, as well as the blocks across, and the blocks across this way, will be available for region. This whole room, the area of this space, will be regioned. Meaning that if I were to rent this space out, someone could access these things. Now here's the danger with that. Um, since this whole area between is region, that means that these blocks here, these blocks here, this block here, all of these are now um, a part of the region. Meaning that whoever rents this room can actually break these things. Which is why, at the bottom here, if I take the splash shoot, call it, I've made some rules to the apartments. And those rules do clearly state that you cannot break any outer appearance of the building. Because I'll have to fix it. And if you do, then unfortunately you're, you're getting an auto eviction so as well as most likely having to pay for uh, for the damages but yeah so there's that now let's go up a little higher not a little higher let's go up to the penthouse suites because those ones are a little bit different the, the yes the private residence that's what they're the penthouse there's only one penthouse but there's a couple private residence spots come in here same same deal so down here in the bottom corner there's a dirt block just like in the other ones and this is a two story so I'm actually going to the second story up here and if you look up there I have put a another dirt block so they will have access to both floors same as before but now both floors now the, again the danger with that is that they're able to actually edit the floor here as well but in the rules that is stated again that these the the main architecture of this place cannot be edited by the person renting so I'm keeping myself safe with that I normally like to be pretty safe and, and not do that but for the case of this building um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let that be you know it's pretty nice I'm really excited about this building let's take the splash shoot and we'll be down and I'm, I'm not regioning the top room just because that is the penthouse suite. And the penthouse suite is going to be mainly for the owner of the building, which in this case is me. Sorry, I got a little bit of a yawn there. But yeah, this is my, sorry if I'm a little tired, this is my second video of the day, and it is kind of early. It's not early, but it's early for me to be making a second video. I just finished editing. I'm actually recording this while it's being posted to YouTube right now. It is Guts and Glory. It's mainly just a montage of times that I've died in the video game Guts and Glory on Steam. I think it's like a $10 game. So check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's it's a little repetitive um but the repetition is kind of what makes it something something worth playing so I'm gonna die again I'm gonna go back to warp VC because in my farm here there's no access allowed so if, if if they try to come to me while I'm in there they will actually be uh, locked out they won't be able to TP to me I think they'll TP but they'll be outside um, of that region so I'm just gonna come here I'm gonna wait the, the one of the biggest things too about making a help me is you want to be near where your help me is gonna need to be done as often as you can 
because the last thing you want is for them to, to and I see it all the time in chat and I, I think it's the most annoying thing ever if I were a modern admin I would hate it um, just you know if I'm standing over here or whatever and they appear and they're like hey help me I'm like oh yeah uh, just give me a sec follow me or even if it's worse if you're like just in RC and you're like oh well warp VC or oh get, well give me a second let me get there first just make sure that you're always there that way there's no problem there's no issue or you're there as much as you can as you saw I, I did suicide so I wouldn't starve to death um, and then came back just because you know I, I don't want to have to deal with that I don't have to deal with having to leave in the middle of a regioning um, and the last thing you want to do ever um, is is you know tell them hey is anyone gonna do my region that's just something that becomes a nightmare is hey mods there's help me uh, mod can you do the help me? you see it in chat all the time <clears throat> but just mod there's help me can someone do help me for me um, yada 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 it's just bad so just you know it's it's annoying I'm sure you understand you must understand that that's annoying if you're playing, if you're trying to play a video game and someone's constantly telling you, "Hey, hey, 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 I need your help. Come help me. Come do this for me. Hey, I, I need, I need you over here." It gets annoying. It gets frustrating. Um, the only time who's over there? They're gone. Oh, they're not. The only time that I think you would ever really need to do that is if you're waiting for like 10, 15, 20 minutes. Even even 10 minutes and 15 minutes, I'd say that's fine. 20 minutes might even be okay. If you're waiting for 30 minutes to an hour, which happens per, sometimes kind of often on certain days, but if you're waiting 20 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes or so, something like that, around that time, then I would kind of say, hey, is anyone doing help me? Be polite about it. Just be understand that it's an annoying thing and just be as polite as you possibly can with it. You know, say, so, hey, just curious, are our um, are, are, are staff doing help me's right now or should I, should I try again later? You know, just be polite about it, because they're taking time out of their day. They're wanting to come and play a video game that now they have a job in, that they've been giving a job in the video game. And it's annoying. So just be cautious of that, that mods and admins, they get on the server and they want to play the game, but they also have the job. You know, they, they were picked for the job. And I think that's why we have so many um, staff who are leaving now. I know back when I first started playing, to hear that a staff member had, or had stepped down was like, whoa, what? that's insane. And now it happens like every time that they get more mods. Every time that there's new mods, new trial mods, someone steps down. Because it's kind of like, you know, oh, there's someone here who can take care of things. I don't have to be... I don't have to be uh, on it all, as often. You know? So, there's that. So just make sure that you when you're talking... All I'll just say... Mods and admins, they play the game. They, they get on and they want to play the game too. So, so cut them some slack. Give them a break. Break them off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Because they get on and play the game too. And it's hard when as soon as you join, you have people screaming and yelling, Oh, thank God there's a mod. I've been waiting to get regioned for so long. Oh my gosh, it's, I've, I've waited so long to get this place regioned. Yada, yada, yada. And so just, again, be careful with that. Info. Uh, RG remove owner I see a just doing some touch-ups here I don't know why it's like that I can't remove Viet Ben from this plot which is the weirdest thing uh, RG remove member 7ZL again 7ZL thank you for the work that you did on the stuff um, I wish you good luck with your channel. It looks fantastic. It actually looks really cool. I wish that I had um, the ability to build like that and have you know that type of following with my builds, but I don't have that ability. So congrats on that. You know, on being able to, on being able to do that. So spot on. Good on you, mate. Doing some maintenance. I always come. I have all this stuff, and I don't ever remember exactly what it is that I have in here. So I can make a wither if I wanted to. I guess. Got glass. Some diamond sacks. It's got a lot of saddles. I, I've been wondering where my saddles were. What is this? 
Oh, so am I. Oh, they're junk. I'm just a hoarder. I'm so bad at this. Whatever, gangsta. Food stuff. Still, still waiting on uh, someone to do a uh, help me. It's been a couple minutes. It's been a while. I'm able to look on my recording software to see how long I've been recording for. It actually doesn't say. I gotta kind of keep track of that myself. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting. There are mods on. But we're here. Like I said, you just gotta gotta be patient. You gotta. Oh god, it's taking so long. I I really want to leave this place. I really don't want to be here all day. This is just gonna say this is um just for all intensive purposes. This is my fourth time trying to get this regioning done, and it's a nightmare. Regioning, getting stuff regioned is a nightmare. <laughs> you know, do I think that we need more mods? Mm, yes, I think I think I, I think we need more mods. Not because, and here's what I'm gonna say. I think that a lot of people get this confused. Is people say we need more mods because the mods we have suck. I disagree with that. I think the mods that we have are great. And I think the admin that we have are great. I think we need more mods because I think more mods is always better. And then to have more mods and more admins is always better. I think if we had a fleet, an army, a, a huge amount, I think it would help in a lot of ways. First off, you know, the mod and admin that there are wouldn't be so overwhelmed by people. They wouldn't, uh, I'm gonna go all the way to the top. To my penthouse. You know, if someone comes on and says, I need something regent, you wouldn't be like, oh god, I have to do that. You'd say, oh, well, there's consistently five or six mods on at the same time. Uh, I, I'll wait a little bit, and if no one does it, then I'll do it, type thing, you know? Because you're not going to have to feel like you have to do it every time. You have to do it sometimes, but not every time. And I think it, it's good. It, I think that would be a good move, server part. If they don't do it, I understand. I mean, I'm not the boss. I don't run the server or whatever. But I am saying, I think to have just a huge amount of mod and admin would fix a lot of problems. A, like I said, you know, you'd have you'd have more, which means that the mods and admins that currently do exist wouldn't feel so... Is this dripping? I hate that. I'll fix that later. Um, I have a leak in my roof. Um, but I think that it would, it would take some pressure off the ones who currently do exist. Secondly, you know, there's always, there's always that thing of like, oh, it sucks that, uh, in my times, it's always it's always been the complaint. Every time, it's it's been the complaint consistently, for forever, as long as I can remember. People are like, oh, you know, it sucks that there's no mods in my time zone that I can't ever get anything done, because in my time zone there's no mods. It's that's, I mean, it's it's a good excuse. It's a good thing to say. I think you know, because that does tend to happen. Is that the mods, that the, the mods uh don't get don't get on at the right times, or you end up being. I'll say this, some, some time zones have more mods on at a single time than others. That's fair. I think that's good to say. Is that, uh, huh, someone referenced my name. Um, is that, is saying that there are times that there are more mods on than, than other times. And those times tend to happen at the same time. If I can say that, I think. And I think if we had more mods, it really wouldn't matter. Because if we had just a fleet, an army of mods and admins, you know, go from having, I think we have, let me say, 10, 15? I, I really don't know, but I'm making a guess. We have 10, I'm going to say 10 mods and admins all together. Um, some are more active than others, but I'm going to say we have 10. And I will say that about 50% are, are, are very active and the other 50% are not. So, yeah, I mean, if we just had more, so take that up by percentage. If 50% of your mods and admins are active and the other 50% are not, and I'm saying active as in active more often, as on on almost every day, whereas some are on maybe once a week, once a month. You know, uh, if we had, if we go from 10, that means we have 5 that are active very often. If we take that to 30, that means we're going to have 15 that are active more often. Right? 50%? That's how that works? Yeah. 15 were on more often. If we have 40, that means we have 20 who are on more often. Now, and I'm not saying we need to have a 50-50 where it's like half the players who play are modern admin and half the players who play are not. I'm just saying, you know, the more we have, the more likely it is. 
I don't. I know what people are saying is like, oh no, because a lot of our new mods and admins are on all the time. Mark is on all the time, and he's a fairly new admin. Um, Tarambo is a fairly new mod, and he's on all the time. Uh, King King is on all the time, and he's a fairly new. But that's the thing: is that new players. Here's the thing that you notice: people who first become mods and admins are on all the time, about as often as before they were mod and admin, if not more. People who are mod and admin and have been for a long time start to kind of disappear, start to kind of vanish, and I think it's because, you know, the the new the newfound responsibility of being a mod or an admin or being a staff member, it kills you. It makes you not want to play the game anymore. You know? Because there's just... It, it ruins it. It kind of ruins it because you have so many people who whine at you. It's something is always your fault. Something is always having to be done that you don't want to do, that you don't get to play the game, and it causes all these problems. And I think that problem could be solved if we had more mods and admins. And I know that people say that all the time, but I think that I'm, I'm honestly giving a few good reasons why. Whereas most people don't. Most people don't give any good reasons to why we need more mods and admins. They just say we need more. Well, why? Because I want to get stuff regioned. Or because I want to I want to make a region and there's never anyone on to do it. No, I think I think we need them because people need breaks. Because, you know, I don't know. Because, because you need to give the mods and admins that we have right now, the staff members that we have right now, they need to have a break sometimes. And I, I think that's the biggest concern here is that they need to have breaks, and the fact that they don't get breaks, that they're not ever able to play, just, are these swastikas? No. The fact that they're not ever able to really play without having someone immediately hop on and say, oh, I need, before you get to do your thing, before you get to play the game for fun, before you get to relax, can you do something for me? That's a nightmare. That makes playing the game horrible, and I see why so many mods and admins leave. I would leave too, if that were the case, if every day that I got on, I was just pestered to, to do something. And that's why I say, you know, with mods and admins and staff members, when you call them for a help me, you need to be patient. You need to give them the ability to, that looks more like a monster. You need to give them the ability to, you know, take a sec to get to you. 30 minutes an hour? That's not fair to the player as well. Now, that's what I'm saying here, is I'm saying it's a battle on both fronts. I, I know I'm getting confused, confusing, but it's a battle on both fronts, is the fact it's not fair to the player to have to wait an hour to to get a help me done to get something done because most players they get on in their in the times that they have in the chances they have i've gotten on and i've played i'll say this i've played for hours on end um and that's fine i've also very more often than not only been able to play for a couple minutes and i think that's a lot of players too is a lot of players are usually only able to play for a few minutes um because we're busy because we have busy lives um and i think that that's unfair to the player that the mods who are on don't want to help, the staff that are on don't want to help, and the other half the time there aren't staff on because they've quit the server because it's just too hectic. That's what I'm saying. That's not a government opinion. That's not my opinion on the Hello Miners government or admin or anything like that. I'm just saying that that's a problem that's been happening for a long time. I mean, no matter how many admins you get, we, we got a bunch of new admins a long time ago when they started doing it that they would get new admins every now and then. Um, and once we get those new admin, those new staff members, other staff members leave. I'm sorry that I keep wandering around my building. Like I said, I just want to stay nearby for when my help me does get answered. It's still up, right? Yeah, we already have a penny ticket for you, please. I'm actually, I think I'm actually next. Is the, is the biggest concern that I have, is that I'm the next person to get helped. And I've been the next person to get helped since I got on a second ago, right before I started recording. Maybe five minutes before. And I haven't been helped yet. So that's why I'm, I'm going on this little rant, is the fact of like, you know, there's that. So like I said, the, the first the first thing is, it's not fair to the players. The second thing is, it's not fair to the mods, that every time they get on, they're pestered, and they don't get to actually play the game. And I think that could be solved by having more mods and admin. Now I know that staff are going to say, you know, uh, well, we can't just make everyone a staff member. We can't just make everyone an admin. You know, you need to earn it. And if we just gave it away to people like that, it's it it removes that power. It removes the the ability. And we've had staff members, we've had admin, we've had mods get on and just abuse that power. Like they've been waiting to get that chance. And then once they do, they just abuse it. I spot Jay Cava as as one of the people for that. I'm sorry, Jay Cava, that to bring it up, but you are the only example that I can really think of right now. You and Polly can, and I'll I'll name him too. Is abusing the their powers to advance their own business, to advance their own cities, to make more money, and to make things easier for themselves, and abusing that power. And I get that that's the danger that you get with 
having more mods and admins is now you have to keep track. But that's the thing is, mods and admins are able to keep track of one another just as they're able to keep track of other players as well. And that's, I think that's the solution to another problem that we have, is that a lot of staff members are not willing to help players who need regioning. Like I've said, you know, it's a hard thing. And I get it because it's, it ruins your playtime, ruins your fun time. So they're not willing, they're A, not willing to, to help with regioning. But B, they, B, we get reports and bans all the time. So is that, so is this the problem? Is this the problem that, you know, mods and admins are using what they see as the fun use of their powers of catching people who are cheating, catching people who are hacking, but they're not using the rest of their powers. They're saying, it's like the president saying, oh, I don't want to fill out any bills. I don't want to make any new laws or anything, but I, I do want to get to ride an Air Force One. I want to get to, uh, to do whatever I want, but I don't want to have to fill out any rules or laws or anything. And that's not fair. And I think that that's what happens with a lot of staff members is, you know, you're so eager to to catch the people who are breaking rules, who are hacking, who are who are griefing, who are scamming, stuff like that. But no one's willing to help a player with regioning. No one's willing to help a player with 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 any of that other stuff. And I think that's a shame. That's a downright shame. In the fact that, you know, the stuff that happens every day, the stuff that happens every couple minutes, every hour or so, they're not willing to do, but they are willing to get the honor and the glory of saying, look, I caught someone, and put on forums and everyone says, congrats, good job, good catch, so and so and so and so and so and so, is that a lot of the staff are willing to take that and willing to say, haha, look at what a great job I did, but aren't willing to do stuff like regioning, and aren't willing to do stuff like that. And I'm not saying that that's bad on, on the staff, I'm saying that's just, a, that's just a very clear and evident thing that happens. I get it, if you have that power, you wanna use it. And you want to use it in the most fun and what you see as the most productive way. I get that. That's fine. But it's also not fine. I mean, if I could say that. It's fine, but it's not fine. It's not fine because people need this stuff done. You were brought on as staff because this stuff needed to be done. And now you're not doing it. Because you're using your other powers that you got. You know, the fact that people... There was never a problem with scammers and hackers getting away with stuff. That was never a problem, really, because they usually tend to get caught, because they're stupid. That was never a problem. The problem that happened was we never had enough people to region, and so we got more mods, and now the mods are just trying to catch people hacking and scamming. The number of people who are reported has not gone up. It's been consistent. The number of people who are banned has been consistent. However. The ability for people to to get stuff region to get stuff done. I'm sorry if I'm just wandering in circles. By the way, I'm like I said, I'm waiting to get my my stuff regioned, uh, or sub regioned. Is there one in here? Oh no, this is the penthouse. That's why. Um, it's oh I forgot I had half heart. It's it's not good. I think all of these problems could be solved by having more staff. And I understand that there are probably problems that I can't see because I'm not a staff member. So there are problems that I can't foresee. Stuff that I don't know. Um, and I get that. But at the same time, the problems that we can see as players, as regular players, aren't being fixed. And that's a problem. That's a that's, that's like a serious problem. Because why are we getting more mods and admins? Why are we getting more staff members if the problems that we're hiring them to fix that we're bringing them on to fix, aren't being fixed, you know? If it's causing more problems, what does that mean? You know, we're doing all this stuff, the the the, the, the server is, is doing all this, hiring more people, and it's not doing anything. Why are my shop chests locked? Oh, those probably have my stuff in it. Oh, they have uh, seven stuff. But, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's it's a weird system. I've been waiting here for, I want to say, I don't know how long I've been recording. I usually record for about 30 minutes, if not more. And I feel like this has been a full recording. So I'm going to say I've been waiting for about 30 minutes, if not more. What time is it right now? Yeah, I've been recording for about 30 minutes so far. Or waiting all together for about 30 minutes, I'll say. And no one has come to help me out. Uh, same number of mods on. 
And again, I'm not calling out any of these mods specifically. I'm just saying this is a problem staff wide. Is that these these the mods aren't doing what they were brought on to do. Yes, they're catching players who are hacking. Yes, they're helping cities get started sometimes. You know, yes, they're helping out on forums. Yes, they're looking at reports and deciding which is real reports, which ones aren't. Yes, all those things are happening. But the little things of helping players that they were brought on for, you know, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'll say, you know, a lot of the reason that they started, um, in my opinion, a lot of the reason that they started bringing on new mods was because of regioning. I'm gonna say that's the number one reason that you bring on new staff members is for regioning and for you know the little stuff of helping players daily and daily in and out and none of those things are being done so again why are we getting new staff members if those problems aren't being solved if those problems aren't being fixed why are we getting all these new staff members I'm gonna keep I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right now I'm going to keep recording until my help me gets answered or until I'm gonna say until about 1:30. So I'm gonna record for another 45 minutes, or until my uh, my help me gets answered, whichever comes first. So we will see, or until I get tired, because you know I do whatever I want. But we will see, because the more I talk about it, the more I bring up my thoughts on it, the more I get upset about the fact that there are these problems in the Hilla Miners government that aren't being addressed. So so there's that whole mess. I mean, I really want to just say, like, anyone doing help me's, but I'm not gonna, because that shouldn't be the point. The point shouldn't be that I should have to make a help me and then say, hey, I entered a help me. Because then what do we have that, that, uh, that command for if I'm having to say help me either way? You know? We got that plugin so that we wouldn't have the, this, the chat clogged up with, hey, can I get some help? Can someone help me region? So and so and so and so. And so we can keep track of mods helping people. Staff members helping people. But it's not doing anything I put in a help me I'm the next person in line for a help me and they haven't helped anyone they haven't helped me they haven't helped I don't know who else is in line but they haven't helped those people either they haven't helped me they haven't been able to get to the second part I don't I don't it's just it's not fair I'm not saying it's not fair for me because I don't care you know I'm saying it's not fair for you guys and I hear it all the time I hear the complaints about people you know we need more staff members why just because we need them or staff members aren't doing help me's. Why? I don't know. Just not doing them. And I'm saying I, I look. I see both sides. I see. I've, I've said it a thousand times today so far. Is that I see both sides. I see the fact that you know mods want to play and mods don't want to have to be structured into this system of having to do help me's every time that they get on of not being able to play because they have to help a player. I get it. You don't want to do that. No one wants to do that when they play. But at the same time, if you're drafted for this job, they ask you. I'm pretty sure they ask you. Do you want to be a mod or an admin? Oh shoot, I can't. I keep on getting stuck. There we go. They ask you, do you want to be a mod or admin? Here's the stuff that it incorporates. And you say yes, and then you don't do, you only do half those things. You only do the stuff that gets you the credit, the stuff that people can go on, this, on the, the forum and say, hey, great job, good catch. Good, I'm glad that person's banned. You're doing that stuff because you get the credit for it, but the stuff that you don't get the credit for, the stuff that's like reading this for me and all you get is a thank you, you're like, eh, not worth my time. Why would I do that if, if no one's saying anything? If I'm not getting a thank you, if all I'm getting is a thank you from one player, not a thank you from 20, why would I do it? I, th I honestly feel like that's the mentality here. And it, it's, it's stupid. And I know that I've been bashing on the, on the staff for a sec, but let me bash on the players too. You have to be polite to the mods and the staff members. I know that you don't technically have to, but you should. Like I said, they're giving up a lot of freedoms to help you out in the server. You know, they're they're giving up their ability to play the game so that they can help you. Now at the same time, they shouldn't be expected to do that. They shouldn't be expected to, to give up having to play the game 100% to help you every time. 
me see. He said, Mr. Phone, what do you need? There we go. If he needs regioning, I'm going to lose it. I need a region created. Yep. Do a help me. Let me guess, does he already have a help me made? I did, yes, right on. Yeah. And like I said, you shouldn't have to do that, but I don't know how long he's been waiting. If he's been waiting as long as I have... You know, I'm sorry, Mr. Dude. Yeah, I'm next line, and I've been waiting 45 minutes. <sighs> I, mean, I my throat hurts from uh, from talking about this. Like I said, this is my second video I made right now, um, and I have to go to work today. Shoot, but it's just you know I got on to make this quick little video, and it turned into this thing of like I'm gonna show to mods, to staff members, to admin, to regular players, to Teddy, to I don't know, I don't know who watches my channel, but to you guys already, this is even gonna be on forums too. Just uh. Hey. There we go. Okay, dirt to dirt. So, yeah, I, I finally got a... It took all that time. It took someone actually saying, you know... So thank you, Mr. Phone. It took someone actually saying, hey, are they doing help me's? What's going on? To actually get stuff regioned but there it is it's happening so thank you mr phone thank you zenair1320 um thank you to everyone i guess but thanks for watching i appreciate you so much for